Hello friends, welcome to knowledgeola.com. So today I'm going to explain the folder structure of a EJB server for IBM Quorum product. So under EJB server, we are developing our backend code. Okay. So, so there are some setup folders are there and we are going to place some setup files. So under the custom folder, so I'm just going to components and server and under the com custom folder, we have some setup folders. So today I'm going to explain what type of file or what, uh, yeah, what type of files we are storing in their respective folders. So if you are uh, checking in the first uh, first folder here, so I am I am going to talk about the first folder access. So what is the meaning of uh, access folder here? What why these access folders are available here and. Uh, what type of file we are storing in this access folder so access folder is created to store all files are related to web services so as everyone is knowing IBM Quorum is supporting uh, inbound and outbound web services okay that is based on uh, access so that's the file related to access 2.0 I believe is coming here in this and this is the configuration file where you are configuring all your outbound uh, access so I'm not going in, in detailed because the motive of this uh, tutorial is to explain all the folder structure so if you go here in the second folder the second folder is client apps client app folder is created to store all nap tabs section file ssp files you know application configuration related files so all application configuration related files will come here and store in this particular place so those files can be tab file navigation file section file and shortcut section files and uh, you can say app file and properties their respective properties so all those files will come here inside this client apps code tables as name indicates this folder is going to store all code tables related uh, files so code table which used in our application as a drop down values uh, checkbox radio buttons and all those kind of things so that those files are coming here creole rule sets uh, as folder name itself is giving information or rules that related informations we are going to store here in this particular folder data data is nothing but your initial data static data so initial data so whatever initial data are required to build the application uh, IBM Quorum application so all those kind of things will come here in, in, under the initial we have along with that we have you know handcrafted uh, scripts we have a clock folder we have flop folder you can see here there is a lot of uh, you know ig script dynamic evidence related files are also being stored here in this uh, data folder so basically data folder is going to store all your demo data your initial data related to table some static data basically which is going to help ibm quorum application to up and running and evidence related informations uh, IEG related informations will also store in this folder events so I'm going to talk about events folder events folder is going to have uh, the events which you are going to implement in your application those files will come here the extension of those files are EVX so events related file come inside the event folder messages message so message all messages whatever we are using in our Quorum application that by, that can be uh, informational messages uh, error message you know in, any sort of uh, messages which we are going to explain here that will come in this particular folder that is called message model so all modeling basically RSA modeling so you people are must be aware IBM Quorum is using RSA uh, to do the modeling and it is generating a lot of uh, code okay so those uh, kind of modeling like entity modeling entity related modeling process class related uh, modeling facade 
class related modeling structs related modeling all those things will come inside this uh, folder that is called as a model okay now properties so why we created this folder properties so if you see here these properties files are very generic and uh, you know it is being used uh, uh, as a common so application.prx you know if any properties are there which can change over the time or you want to use that property along the application so that kind of properties you can insert here in this application.prx and there is a one table is there in a quorum table that is properties table i believe yeah data is going inside that okay so these are you know generic properties which we are putting here and that is custom basically you know rule sets you know all uh, uh, yeah so see here custom metadata related things will come here inside the rule sets folder now i'm going to source as you know source all your handcrafted code or implementation logic everything will come here inside this whatever java code or any other dependent source code you are going to write that will come inside the, the source folder test obviously as the name indicates so whatever source code you are going to implement for ibm quorum application you are also supposed to write uh, you are supposed to write uh, some sort of test cases j unit test cases or j market test cases uh, uh, to test the back end code okay so that kind of code uh, related to test cases j unit or j market test cases will come inside uh, this uh, test folder workflows this is an interesting folder so all workflow you know, related uh, things will come here in this folder workflow folder so i think i'm done with this uh, tutorial hope you understand the folder naming convention and what type of file we are storing in their respective folder hope you like this video please like subscribe and share this video with your friends and other chrome developer and let me know uh, your suggestions or any any topic for which you want video thanks a lot have a nice day